Hey. What? You can see how my hair is the wrong color. We can't see you know? that. Yeah, I know. No, you can't. I don't give a fuck about Harry, you guys. Harry, do you know? It's about the viewers. I, I know. You know? Does Scotty know? But I, don't, I don't want to, but I know. No, but, but you Just, didn't do that. Well, I did it to you, and you didn't do that. And I said I didn't want to. But I so the, the, the weird Harry and Ethan bit only means... Guys, only Ethan's means back! It means Ethan's everyone's back! back. Everyone's yeah. back! Hey, everyone's wow. here, bro. What? We're wow, looking great. This must be a special episode. Be, yeah, it's a special we're doing, actually. Oh, yeah, cool. it's our last episode. Woo! Our Christmas, our Christmas special part two. Christmas special part so two. Go back to Disneyland. You're stuck there for another week. Oh, fuck. We gotta, we gotta just redo all that too. I mean, while while we're on the topic, Ethan, do you want to like mention anything about Christmas or New Year's? Any New Year's resolutions you want to share? And just I, I, yeah, do do a catch up for us real quick, buddy. Yeah. All right, guys. So on December 25th, Christmas happened, sure and did. then on December 31st was New Year's Eve. Followed Close shortly the Bible by New Year's. Um, so this dude and his wife trying to give birth went to a bunch of hotels. They said, nah uh. So then they went to a manger, and that's how Jesus was born. Hmm. Ethan hates that guy, by the way. Uh, Famously. Like Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just say that. Anyways, yeah, so that happened. Then New Year's happened. Uh, New Year's resolutions. I promised to spank Harry twice as hard. Oh, I like that New Year's resolution. Yeah, hey, what's your New Year's resolution? Uh, well, we already went over it in the other episode, yeah, so watch. you guys don't get to use. Yeah, well, that would be a thing where I got spanked, but, you know, that's fine. Nope. Well, you don't know what it is, because you didn't fucking watch the episode, you little shit. I've been, I've been busy, though. Yeah, you, uh, you can do care. it the glass in the background. Glass podcast comes before all. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. It's homework. Yeah, I know. Do that's it in the back. Do it in, in the background of the entire, you're... like, you guys are talking, and I'm just accidentally responding to the wrong questions from last time. Well, That'd be really fun. I think we're good. Beat. Yeah, I'm, really I'm, good. I'm at the exact same volume too. Just so you absolutely yeah. have no idea who's talking to you and who's, who's I'm just, doing what. I'm just tripping the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, bro. That sounds like he's talking to like everyone. I'm arguing uh, with Harry over something Harry's not even talking to me about. He's like, dude, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> True. No. So, I think I think is there any other updates we want to get into? No. Is there anything nothing. Else nothing else big. Except no. Nope. This is this is my actual apartment. You guys saw my apartment. Oh yeah, Eddie's moved in. Episode. I've been I've been working on that. Every everything you see in there, Didn't I ask. built by hand. Well, actually, just this. <laughs> and I alone. Just the bed. Well, Harry helped with that one. Mm -mm. Actually, no, I I, I definitely did he most did, of it. He did actually mm -mm. make that. He did make the nightstand. He did make the nightstand. Stand so. straight. I've got I've got. Harry made a one night stand already. Oh yeah. yeah. He's black. Oh yeah. I, I got a Nuggets section right here and then we got an asu section right here and then the rest is ours asu <laughs> you what up, you what don't even you're say that you tucson fuck you what <laughs> let me tucson know fuck. <laughs> you know there's an old okay. saying where i come from mm -hmm. it's called no pity for the kitty mm -mm. no pity for the kitty i like that saying that's what i told your mother so we should copyright it <laughs> We're only supposed to be able to use it against you. You can't use it back. That's not fair. We yeah, trademarked you know it. Maybe, maybe this is better as a three-person podcast. <laughs> we just no, kick him no, out no, right no. now. Yeah, guys. It was good no, for no that five seconds I was there. No sleep till 10 p.m. isn't good for you. What the fuck? What is Harry doing? doing? There's just flashing lights going on him. What are <laughs> you fucking doing? He's still He's really playing wrong. Fortnite. Oh, my God. Is that... <laughs> Harry, what? No, I'm not. Harry is Harry <laughs> playing Fortnite all the, all the Save the World colors. in a group, one of six teams. I'm not playing Fortnite Save the World. Why would I do that? So, oh my God. Ethan, that also means you, you are also playing Fortnite if you can see that. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, God I'm damn not. it. <laughs> Holy fuck, there's so many zombies. <laughs> <laughs> so we're supposed to have a surprise theme for this week, Eddie? A surprise? Oh. Uh, apparently our theme is Fortnite. Oh, that's it. No, we're just gonna, no, we're no, just gonna sit here and to me. they're gonna play Fortnite and like occasionally tell us what they're doing. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I can pause. I yeah. can pause. He's you almost there, guys. He's he's no, edging. He's I edging the pause. game. It's can. an online game. It's an online game. You can't pause. Well, it's like he's playing the single player nope. mode though, huh? Nope. Say the world is not single player. It's online. It's dumb. I'm playing single player. No one wants to join my map. <laughs> but it still acts like yeah. All the other friends are busy doing stuff. I wonder what. what I'm stuff. This is a great content. Yeah, no, I got you. No, that no, that does that, that, that was a deserved silence. Okay, anyways. 
Do you guys know Logic started a podcast today and his first guest was Seth MacFarlane? Hmm. I know Logic. Really? Yeah. No, you so, don't, Harry. Harry, Logic is the one thing I thought you would Unfortunately, now know. my podcast has my, my, sorry, not my podcast. My idea for this, for this uh, podcast has been rendered useless because the perfect podcast has already been made, but I'm going to task all of us with coming up with the perfect podcast. So everybody comes up with their own perfect podcast where you could be could be whoever you want it to be whatever whatever topic whatever so, like genre so this is this is like pretty much uh who can make up the best blunt rotation right i was gonna say it's just blunt rotation but for like podcast yeah. terms well i that's the worst way of putting it ever <laughs> no you just come damn up, these like, fucking zombies where? dude am i right do we, do we get location like, as well no, you don't get a. Lo- I mean, I guess you could have a location. It doesn't really make a difference because it's a fucking podcast. Like, it matters to me because I, I could just be like, like so, somewhere. Like, like, here, like a good example. I would love to hear a podcast with, uh, like Markiplier and um, Adam Sandler. That would be just How, fucking weird. You, th- you think they would mix well? I don't at all, but I think it'd be that'd so be, weird. That would be super awkward. Yeah. Just, just a, think, a, a think, 90s comedian and, and, a, and a, a gamer. Just kind of chilling together. Literally, okay, I'm just going to say I had literally no thought. I literally made that up on the Wait, spot, you, so my improv skills could use some work. But I'm trying to think of, like, some good ones. I mean, low-key, Logic and Seth MacFarlane is actually, like, a good combination. Is it at, like, I, was I, that a guest, or was that, like, are they, are they he like... He was a guest. Okay, I was going to yeah, say. He was a guest. Yeah, no, Seth MacFarlane's far too busy to be mm. doing podcasts with him all the time. So I, was, I would love to hear, you know, there's lots... Adam, isn't uh, he also American Dad? Yes. And, and the Ted, Ted show. No, he's not. No, he's not. The Ted no, show? No, he's not. The Ted, yeah. Isn't there a Ted show out now? Yeah. There is a Ted show. Ethan, Ethan's right. What the fuck is the no. Ted show? Do you know the Ted teddy bear? Yeah. The movie oh, about oh, the, like, the range teddy bear? Oh, my yes. God, you're kidding. I did not know about this, actually. Um... So I'll give you guys like a minute, maybe think, maybe jot some. Down My some dream podcast would star right. me in the leading role, and it'd be called the Riz Podcast, where I would just, you know, mm. get, you know, a, a random guest would show up, and at the end of it, I'd have to try to Riz them up. That's that an easy. No, uh, that's a dream. That's the dream that's the right dream. there. Did, would... Didn't have to think about it. It's just what I want. So just done. And what I need. That's it. There you go. Uh, I would also do a one-man podcast, probably just like a stand-up podcast where like I'm also writing during it, so it's long pauses of me just like coming up with the jokes, and then I'll try to. It's like dead silence. (laughs) Dead silence. The first thing you hear is, "So what's the deal with airplane food?" (laughs) Is that that a good great You like test out your own your own ideas. (laughs) Do you guys like that? And I'm like waiting for a a lot of response. It's just yeah, you're doing it recorded, so there's no feedback whatsoever. That would be really so, funny to like listen to on a long drive. You're just driving down the street to like go to a, no, no, to go to a new town, uh-huh. just dead silence, and all you hear is like dead silence and out of nowhere. So like, what's the deal with fish, dude? I, I imagine like <laughs> I imagine they like fall asleep like watching that podcast because it gets really quiet, so you like doze off, and then all of a sudden you hear just, like Seth yelling in your ear some like really bad <laughs> joke. About igloos, and then he laughs really hard at his own, jo- or he laughs to himself when he thinks of something. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> it like wakes yeah, like you that. up in like in like a, a cold a sweat, cold sweat, yeah. Yeah, I just like imagine just like you're just driving along and you just kind of like forget that you're listening to anything. Yeah. That's all. The and whole then point. you just hear Seth talking, like muttering <laughs> something, and you just get so confused. Where's that coming like, from? You just like. Like I like I just like think like he's just like writing something down and they like tips a glass of water and he's like oh fuck shit he's just, like, shit struggling to clean it up. <laughs> he, he's about to tell us a joke he's like never mind it's stupid it's <laughs> <laughs> great shit it is also four hours long uh, every every episode <laughs> it's just Seth in his room doing random stuff it's not even just writing jokes anymore <laughs> sometimes you get bored like, you, you get, get on your phone bed. you get bored take a little nap. <laughs> 20 call that a, in, call that a blue liner stream. <laughs> Walks away, starts to make like That's making it. Robin comes back. Are we still recording? <laughs> It's like fuck. I'm so. It's like it reminds me of like when those like big time streamers like accidentally forget to end stream and like they're just doing their own thing and they're like, what? Am I still streaming? And then it like ends all of a sudden. 
Does that happen a lot? I feel like I, I don't know. It doesn't it happen is, too it's, often, but it's like happen every like third like... episode for me. Well, you'll just get like a twenty-six hour podcast out of nowhere. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what, what kind of things would we see happen in your room, Seth? Oh, you know, s- sleeping or whatever, uh-huh. or whatever is what I'm interested in. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, me three. I have my. This is my business room. I have my actual room out there. So. Oh, your business. That's what. That's where I spend most that's of my time. This yeah. is. This is just the that, set be for, for my recordings. That, that's a big bed for a business room. Yeah. yeah it's all cardboard actually. That's underneath, where, though. That's where he does all it's his movie, business. movie magic. You know. Oh yeah. His movie business. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. all right, all right, Seth. Harry, you do all Harry, your, your business in there. What's me? Yeah, you're, I kind of. I don't know. I'm thinking like of some kind of like how can you do like a modern day Avengers? So like people like with like the best talents all together. So you are trying to like like, like isn't, dreamcast isn't, it. isn't that what the glass liquors is? Isn't yeah, are we the funniest people I ever? I, th- I think that's like the opposite. So like yeah, you get like <laughs> some, you, you get like the best people in different industries. So like maybe like Mr. Beast for every YouTube. Industry? Like who would you say every, is like the best director? Industry? Look, you have Johnny uh, Sins, yes. I think maybe, maybe you talk. I think you're talking like biggest people in the industry. So like maybe you go like Steven Spielberg biggest? or something. Because because Mr. Are okay, you really gonna say Mr. Beast you. is the best YouTuber? He's the biggest. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I would not want to listen to Mr. Beast on a podcast. That guy seems so. He would have a lot of like algorithm like stuff though awful. that he could talk about. Yeah. Which I feel awful. Like. Wait, he what's what's your beef with Mr. Beast? Other than not getting the Fortnite umbrella, him what's your as Mr. a person beef? is just not very entertaining, in my opinion. I do not find Mr. Beast as a singular person very interesting. That's fair. If there was like, I, I, I hear that like, critique a lot. Like, it's his, it's his, it's his video concepts, and it's the people around him that mostly carry the humor. I don't really even watch Mr. Beast videos because I think they're funny. I watch them because of the concept. I'm like. Mm-hmm. This guy had to live in a house for three months. Oh my god! Well, I'm and not I'm necessarily not like, saying he's oh funny. Boy, I want to watch Jimmy. <laughs> well, yeah, but and I think he could like he could give some insight, but I also like don't I don't know exactly. That's what, what that's what, what you're it's saying about. Is that he'd be better as a guest than as a like leader. Yeah, I think he's not a guy that I think could could be a long form host of a podcast. Um, unless um, he's like, I don't know. Well, okay, so let me, I was kind of trying to, I'm changing my answer as I go. So biggest people in, like, each art form industries, not even, like, entertainment industry. so, like. Quick side thing, I think the title should absolutely be, like, Mount Olympus or something like that. Because it's, like, Mount it's all Olympus, the gods though, of each, yeah. each one of the, the little things. Okay. Anyways, go on. So, like. Who would you say is like a talented artist? Like I don't know really any like. Well, or, I mean, like so Taylor say, Swift I was, I was maybe for Taylor singer. Swift, I, that's what I was thinking for for singer. Ta- so Taylor Swift, Mr. Beast, um, who else? Am I Steven Spielberg? Mm-hmm. Who would you say is like the best? I don't know best actor or like really biggest actor, big popular actor. Right you, right could, you could you could get you could get Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. You could get Leo. Yeah, Chris I, I Pratt. Just, maybe Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Oh, cool. Ryan Gosling would be actually pretty good. I think I'm not I saying you like they're the best actors, but I'm saying like Brad, they're good Brad, and like who, who could give they're the in a lot insight. of stuff right now. Yeah, yeah. Margot Robbie's pretty big right now. That's true. That is, yeah. Um. Then what? What else would you like want to cover? Like painting art form, like that kind of artist. Uh, like, Leonardo da Vinci no. on the podcast would go <laughs> crazy though. Da Vinci. Can, can you get like get Ninja people from the past? On there? Wait, are we? Are we allowed to Can you get? No. No. Why not? Oh, that's boring. so boring. What the fuck? That's you said boring. no. You said no. Like you're in the right for saying no. Like that is like the wrongest answer you could have given. But okay, really? whatever. We'll play by it's your my rules. Rule. It's my rule, so I'm right. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you're right at being wrong. Okay. Yeah. You're wrong at being wrong. I'm right at playing Fortnite while talking. He to admits you. it. Multi- Are you still doing it? <laughs> I lost my mission and I didn't get my V bucks. Oh my god! So you're retrying it. No, I'm not playing anymore, I swear. Oh, good. Take both hands off, Harry, and just, like, keep them in the air for, like, five minutes. I feel like he's five. just watching a video. I feel like he's just watching his own Fortnite video. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's just watching... Get five See, I think, I think we should get the best Fortnite player, so... Sorry, Ninja, it would be me. It would be Harry, yeah. Wait, 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 what if Ninja... Does Ninja play Save play? the World? That does not make him the best Fortnite player, so I'm just saying. I do think that would be interesting. I, there's a lot of YouTubers making podcasts. Like, Markiplier has his podcast. Jacksepticeye has his podcast. There's Ted Nivison mm. has his podcast. Jay Schlatt has the podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Uh, Ludwig has a podcast. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of Moist has a podcast. I think what you but what we got to do is bring them all together. Because it's got like a podcast. Oh, we made like a mega Schlapp, mega Moist YouTube Critical, podcast. Oh, that'd be crazy. Markiplier. Um, who the hell else would be good on that? I think I think you just really I want think Markiplier. Like one of one of Rhett and Link. What would you, you say? You just really like Markiplier. Not you. I don't care about you. Ludwig. I think I think throw throw a Ludwig in there. Ludwig, yeah. Mm. I think those are the. That's the five. That's the five. I that that'd be kind of cool. What would they talk about? Podcasts. <laughs> I'm, I'm <pretty laughs> the, sure their own podcast. The Mine's line. better than yours. Markiplier's Mark player. is actually really good on his podcast because he's such a smart guy outside of YouTube that he can bring in so much. And I, Ludwig's obviously pretty smart. Mm -hmm. One of Rhett and Link would be pretty smart. That's fucked up. To um, only bring one of them. Moist is really smart. Schlatt, yeah. They're all really smart. Mm. Yeah, well, I feel like it'd be a little unfair if you bring both of them. But, like, it's Red Me and Link, Canyon. bro. Me Canyon? What? Did Me Canyon even yeah, talk? Me Canyon oh, retire? Didn't What's that? Did Me Canyon retire a little ago? No, he didn't really retire. He just... He's, like, making less, like, cartoons and more just, like, of his, like, secondary channel. Mm. Where that's, like... He does more, like, in-person reaction stuff on his secondary. But, um... One thing, one of my, you know, upcoming YouTubers up and coming YouTubers, he's kind of big time now, Wendigoon, who he's been in a lot of podcasts. Like he started one with Moist Critical and he started one with Meat Canyon. Like he's oh, in really? two separate ones, which is crazy. Yeah. That was pretty neat. He, he's like, I mean, he's really interesting as in like, you know, he can like tell stories to you for two hours on YouTube and you can listen to it. Cause like he has that kind of soothing voice. Mm. Um, but yeah, yeah I, I don't think he's like, I don't think he's like big, meeting. big time yet. Like he's getting there, but he's not big, big time. Like, uh, the, the podcasters you named. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, like like there's so many different ways to go with like the podcast. And you could do it like kind of like a variety podcast like we do and that's pretty popular nowadays. Yeah. But it'd be interesting to get like one topic. So like you get like um l l let me let me think of like some random people like so you get like some celebrities like you get like Ryan Gosling and you get um what's the guy from Get Out? Uh, what's his name? Oh, okay. shit. Jordan Peele? Or, you, uh, or do you mean, like, the actual actor? Well, that would, honestly, that'd be kind of cool. Jordan Peele. Uh, I was thinking of the actor, but Jordan Peele would be good. Like, Margot Robbie and, like, I don't know, like, mm. Brad Pitt or Chris Pratt. And so, you get them all together, Brad, and Brad. you have them, like, look at, like, a murder case. And, like, they do, like, a serial <laughs> style, like... You, where do, they you degrade all of these case. huge people to a fucking true crime podcast? Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. That would be hilarious. Well, no, they need no, to just... read... They, you know what they should do? They should read high school scripts. Like, what? high school written scripts. Like, you know, really bad, like, scripts where they, you know, they play actors in this. Because they're all really good actors. And they, like, <laughs> act and they, out, they act out great. they act out like childhood shit you know where it's like makes no sense like but with like, like really good acting chops. Like, like with sixth grade acting and shit you know and so like that'd be really funny that does sound that sounds like a really good idea so but, like, you might want to get like, so just a like a more voice actors idea. like i feel like what you'd want to do is you'd get like a rotating cast of like like you know of like hollywood actors celebrities yeah. and they just come in and they and like every you know you, every episode you get like different people doing different shitty scripts like yeah that'd be that'd like be really fun chris evans or something I this feel like chris, one... chris evans would be fucking hilarious on the podcast <laughs> this, this is this one's from pete in uh in eighth grade at madison elementary school or madison junior high in in uh you know like fucking wisconsin and they just have to and, and then they like fucking like just like laugh at like how bad his script is as they like this kid's it. crying on the director's chair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was... <laughs> no, that'd be that, cool. That... If they bring the kid in and he has to like he has to be director for them. He's it like, ah, that's not yeah, how I imagine the character. He has to say that. He has to, like fucking say that to like Ryan Gosling. He's like, uh, your character's supposed to be more sad, and so they have to. It's almost Show like more a... emotion, you real bitch it's like that one improv uh game where it's like uh different Change. choice it's different choice mm. oh, okay uh which if you don't know how that game plays it's like there's a director and so as people improvise a script or improvise a scene the director can say different choice and whatever the last actor said they have to come up with something like even oh, more so it's changed 
so it's yeah. changed. Uh, it's a different choice. That's uh, what all the actors No, I've, I've heard different if choices. You're, if you're a registered thespian, it would be different You have choice, your thespian though, card, like, so. Eddie? I do have my thespian card. I got my card. thespian card. I have my thespian card. So. Yeah, that, that's what a fake thespian would say. Uh, trust me. I, uh, do, no, that's do, what they call it in Arizona. Do, where do you have Do you have, have uh, a any actors' IQ phone numbers? Because I have like all their phone yeah. numbers. Yeah, Harry knows all. Actually, Hayden Christensen was in was in yep. Reacher. So. What's What's up? I've Hayden Christensen's phone number. I have Reacher guy's phone number too. Reacher. What about Reacher? They, they keep talking. Uh, that doesn't matter. Okay. Um. <laughs> anyways. Anyways, but like. Or, like, another, like, some other good concepts would be, like, like, maybe you get, like, the four dudes from Grown Ups. Oh, and, and just have them? just get high. That, that would that just be, like, a documentary. That, that just Bro, you're just doing blood rotation. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was one. It was one idea. What do you mean blood rotations? It was one idea. So, so, about Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg in a podcast? Yeah. He'd be, oh, yeah. Snoop, oh, yeah. Snoop Dogg in there. We put Cheech like and Shaw in that podcast. podcast. I'm sure. Does he? I think I'm crazy. I know he, like, doesn't he, like, stream Madden or something? Yeah, he yeah, any, any fucking like rage quits and shit. It's it's insane. <laughs> he's he's in COD. He is in COD. He's, I forgot. Wasn't was it, he's wasn't he like nasty at it. wasn't he like sponsored by Twitch or like there's he was a partner of Twitch or something? I can't remember exactly. Probably. I mean, I saw, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't remember the story. I would guess I would guess Twitch would want to have Snoop Dogg as a partner. Uh that seems like good business. Da, 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 da. That'd be the opening song of the podcast like, in the background. <laughs> Oh, and then it's like a, like a whiff of smoke goes by, and it's like doggy dogs, delicious podcast or some shit. Dippy, delicious Dippy podcast. Town. What was it? Delicious. Tippy Dippy. What was it? Nah, the the spoilers. Hey, spoilers. Hey, hey, you quit that. The, the skit one was Doesn't matter anyone. Uh, I think I know you guys. You guys already brought up the true crime podcast. I don't even remember what I, I said. Want, I want. I want to. break. I want to break your remember. stupid rule and. Um, I think we should have people. Yeah, fine, I think whatever. we should have people from Frank the past. Rules. I think we should get some yeah, of the most yeah, elite fine. killers and have them rank fucking cases. Like, the, like they give them a rating. We're like, this guy's a fucking. Now, this guy's pitching. This guy's. This guy's. We get going. Zodiac. We get Ted. We get fucking Jeff, bro. I don't know anymore. Ooh. Jeff. Jeff. Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Charles Manson. Charles Manson. That's that's your four right there. That's OJ. easy. OJ. Wow. Uh, Allegedly. I'm, he did. No, Come no, on. no! You have to say it. allegedly. You, you have to say allegedly. No, no, no! You didn't admit it. You have to say allegedly. Right, just, yes, he did. That's why he got arrested. That's nope. why he was in jail. He admitted no way. it in the book he wrote. No way he would sue me because he can't get tried for double jeopardy. But if he goes back in the courtroom trying to sue someone for that shit, then he can. He can get reaccused of that shit because he knows okay. he did it. That fucking murderer. <laughs> You murdered your wife, you son of a bitch. Come after me. Come come after me, OJ. Seth thinks it too. Seth really thinks he (laughs) murdered him too. I I could swear he I I I swear he admitted it. I don't he he did the if I wrote a book. He said if I did it, not I did it, you know? So he he didn't didn't exactly admit to it. We all know he did it. Like he's yes, not even going to cover it up a murder. I'll show you how to cover up a murder. He admitted it! He admitted it! Listen to me. Then he would be guilty. Then he would be guilty if he admitted it. No, no because of double, double jeopardy. jeopardy. You're so dumb. Who the fuck's talking about game shows? What are either of you on right now, dude? Because <laughs> of Wheel of Fortune, he can't lose, <laughs> no. okay? He won Wheel of Fortune once. The price is right, dude. Prize. He can't. <laughs> <laughs> if you win a TV game show, you're immune you're to all done? the crimes Okay, ever. I like that rule, actually. We should do that. Guys, we should go a win a game show. We should commit a crime and go on a game show right now. You know, I kind of wanted to think up cook up a podcast idea where like we we use some like government officials like the u.s president well, and then oh, oh we got the crime podcast i don't know <laughs> if like you get like a class president from the elementary i kind of like the thing of like mixing it up like really heavily with mm-hmm. like you know like really high yeah. credentialed people with like random junior high or elementary kid Frank, elementary class president talks to joe point. biden kind of point here's a really funny podcast idea Get George Washington mm. to talk to the presidential candidates of the next election, just so he can hear what the country's turned into. It's That'd be the most man. entertaining but he podcast can't, of my he life. Can't, he can't do anything about it. <laughs> get the founding he just has to, to listen. Talk to, to, it's a talk shot. To it's a president. shot of him in the fucking glass box. He hears everything. <laughs> he's just like screaming, oh, banging. It's up. like it's like Interstellar, bro. He's just like no. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Futurama, where they get all their heads and they put them in liquid, 
and he can't do anything about it. He just has to sit there and like talk. Yeah, no. <laughs> I like I think, that. I like it. I like this. That's a good idea. I I think another good one that's kind of unpopular is like these like people like so the always sunny people have a podcast mm -hmm. like something like that where they like where like these guys have podcasts and they talk about like like Weezer could have a podcast and they talk about all the albums they've made right or like like the voice actors of The Simpsons come together and talk about The Simpsons like I think I think I that's love more, how like, I met your mother podcast that kind whatever of awesome. dude who's in Jason Siegel and who else? no one even just watched that show. Did they finally? I actually think that'd be pretty funny. They're all pretty funny. Yeah, they are really funny. Actually, they killed it. Neil Patrick Harris. Yes. Okay, well, Neil Patrick Harris is a winner every time. Come on now. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> we should we should get a podcast of people who have been memes. Oh, like like really obscure memes that, too. Like that, we'll be like, that, do I the, feel the kid that did the sand hand thing meets up with Pepe the Frog. The sand hand. Why do I feel like that's Pepe a the Frog is not a real person, Ethan? What the fuck? <laughs> We all, our, our, our rules also bend to just fictional characters now. Just random drawings. Oh, I really love Charlie bro. Brown on the podcast, bro. Harry wants to interview Peter Griffin. <laughs> Why so were how, you in Fortnite? Uh, yeah. Holy crap, Lois. The Peter Griffin, um, Homer Simpson, American Okay, Dad, how about this? Go and see. So, the best of all yeah, time. so so like all Seth MacFarlane characters are in a podcast. So like so like a voice actor's like character or roster, mm. just like an actor's like uh, character roster. Like they're all in a podcast. I could just picture that like, podcast. It'd be so funny because it's just Seth, Seth MacFarlane in a room by himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just him. His family just guy going backwards. No, but between... like no, like if the characters no, 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 are like, all different or, microphones. Oh, are he we not? Are we not doing like? They are microphone. the fake characters. We're doing just like they are real people, and they're all in a room. Yeah. 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 So, they, so okay. which which one person would have the best podcast based on their character roster? This is this gonna be like real life, like Keanu Reeves, you know, like John Wick people, or you know, like mm. or, or even cartoon. I mean, it does Tom suck. Kenny is pretty good. Chris Who? Pratt would honestly still be good because Garfield, Dude, Mario, Mario would and, not be like, interesting on a podcast. Are you please. kidding me? But Mario was like, he's like a one he was nothing. He's a one word man. He is a one word man. Did you not watch the movie? Wow! He said <laughs> lots more than one word. You fucking idiot! <laughs> no, you should know you saw the movie like thirty times. I played the games. <laughs> yeah, if you played the games, you know Mario goes. Blah, 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 you know, like. <laughs> and everyone be like, but, "The fuck?" Like, <laughs> so that's not. But that's not who Chris Pratt voiced. Like, that think is about true. it. You get you get Star Lord. You get Andy Dwyer. You get. Mario, you get Hayden Garfield. Christensen. Hayden Christensen, you get yeah, Little Italy Italy and and Anakin. Anakin Dark, Dark. Skywalker and that guy from Little Italy. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. That's the I, I like Michael that. Sarah. Who? Oh, what is that? Scott Pilgrim. Uh... All his characters are the same. They'd be the same. <laughs> yeah, it's just all like four awkward guys like looking at the Ooh. floor. Uh... Su super bad. Yeah, um... let's. What's his, Let's get what's Michael Sarah, Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse... Jesse Eisenberg would be the exact same thing. Andy, too. Andy Samberg, like all the same person. Yeah, you're doing you're doing like no, the I, evolution thing, right? Is that what you're trying to do? Well, kind of. Andy Samberg's way funnier though. Yeah. Brian Cranston. Mm -hmm. That would be such a like whiplash thing, like Eisenberg versus the dad from what's that show? Not not in the middle. middle. Yeah. That's the only thing I could. There's, just, there's like he's on like some judge show. He's J.K. Simmons. Simmons. Oh, that would yeah, be the Jesus. best. That would be the best podcast he's Yeah. Well, that would just be like a Spider Man. Podcast. Where's my son? What's Mark? that? That that would just be like a fucking uh, what's uh, like what's the guy's name? Um, J. The worst guy. Oh, Alex Jones. Uh, yeah, it'd yeah. just be like a Alex Jones type <laughs> podcast. It's like the whole. It's, that is what. That's what. I make it so entertaining because you have like the Whiplash guy. Yeah, yeah, the Whiplash guy uh, and J. Jonah Jameson. Omni and J. Jonah Jameson. Tommy he's played. All, he's done a lot more voice acting too that I. Yeah, I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't he was in. He was in an episode of Phineas and Ferb that we. Yeah, yeah, we found a, that out. It was crazy. He was actually J. Uh, J. K. Simmons is in Baldur's Gate as one of the big bads. Oh, is I he? I don't care about you. Yeah. I did see that though. Yeah. I know he's. Cool. He was in a few other things that I've seen, Bert, but he was a little bit more mild mannered in those. Um, so yeah, I just imagine them all yelling at each other, which would make a really good podcast. Mm. I, it, yeah, what's different from that Who's to in this, La La Land? We all yell at each other often. Shut up! It, yeah. Yeah, see, like that. Yeah, he was in Zootopia. Who's in Zootopia? Is what? He was a mayor, yeah. He was the mayor. He was the mayor the giant lion. lion. Yeah. <laughs> all of us knew it except for him. <laughs> I guess he has a big Zootopia fans. 
I, he's also I was, I was walking dog. Harry's room. He's on that Zootopia Rule Thirty Four. What's that all about, buddy? Uh, what? <laughs> Can't hear you. Sorry, I think my headphones cut out. Yeah, they cut out. Uh, another critically acclaimed film that J. Jonah Jameson was in was, or fucking J.K. Simmons was in was Rally Road Racers. Not a clue what the fuck that is. <laughs> Who voices Freddie? Critically Fizzler. acclaimed. Critically acclaimed. <laughs> no one. Freddie Fazbear didn't have a voice actor in his movie. <laughs> Rockstar oh. Freddie. Oh, uh, that is Colin <laughs> Goff. Told he's you. also the daycare. You're tendon, also a fucking nerd. The the moon. Uh, he's over. This is a test. Moon. Moon. He failed. What do you mean the moon? I shouldn't. I shouldn't have asked. Yeah, it's a bad idea. Uh, J. Jonah well, Jameson was also career. in Gravity Falls. For the people who've seen that, I I was never a big Gravity Falls guy, but he was also. <gasps> oh yeah, he was fucking. Uh, he was uh, Stan Lee, I think, right? Stan Stan Lee. I kind of. Uh, no, no, that's the guy that made Marvel. Stanford. 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 Stanford Pines. You, you're so dumb, Stanley. I Stanley. Stanley was the. I didn't mean Stanley. I didn't mean like Stanley. I just said like this, Stanley. This guy. I don't know. Because I knew there's Stan Wherever and Seth then is. there's the other Stan. This guy. Oh was my it god. This guy. Gravity, Gravity Falls is goaded, mm. and if you're and, and watch any cartoons, you should watch that one, Eddie. That's all I gotta say. True. Yeah, cool. not Bluey. Cut, th- cut that Bluey no, shit out. No, I watch Bluey, alright? You know what? That's what I want. I want every. I want all four Bluey characters. I just want a podcast. That fun. would be the most boring podcast of all time. That was It's be. just like a family hanging out. Like, you just open it and it's like, <laughs> Hello! Yeah, Eddie watches family YouTube. <laughs> That's like the worst insult you can tell someone. Like, yeah. I bet you watch family YouTube videos. Which, which if you do, I'm sorry. No, no, I don't insult be. You, oh but God, also, I'm not. Be. I'm not. Like, if you're entertained by family YouTube channels, like, I'm sorry. That's let's, all, let's, it's let's, all let's, let's find family, something better. Fight us. I know that guy. Boxed I can't people. name one. I can't name one. Uh, I, I mean, like, eight, like the families that like do YouTube content, like. I mean, they're smart for, like, profiting off that stuff, you know? I mean, it's basically, like, a reality TV show that's, like, really low-funded. Yeah. That's what I imagine it, right? Like, it's basically, like... Yeah? No? (laughs) It's basically, like... What do you... It's basically, like... like, (laughs) I I said, like, family reality TV show, you know? (laughs) Jersey Shore, but it's a family. Yeah. So, there's uh, there's this show they have called The Shop... And this is a little bit more centralized to, like, African-American people. But I, I like this idea. Like, it, like he'll bring, like, people from, like, like you know, it's 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 kind of like what we're talking about. Like, this this just this is a random one. This is probably from a while ago. But he has, like, Jamie Foxx, Meek Mill, 2 Chains, Anthony Davis, and Antonio Brown. Like, something like that where you have all those people. But I would like one where it's, like, the greatest sports, like, the greatest athletes of all time. Mm. Like, you have, like, Michael Phelps. And you have like LeBron mm-hmm. James, and you have Tom Brady. So he, he I would actually LeBron's sponsored by Sprite Cranberry. He said it. Sponsored by Sprite Cranberry. I would put Peyton Manning. Aaron Rodgers, Jordan Love. Wait, you said you, you put know, Peyton Manning over Tom Brady? Not because he's a not Bronco. Because, not, not, no, not because of any sort of like this guy's better. Mostly for entertainment. Peyton Manning is a very personal a guy. Funny dude. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 that's a big That's fair. Kind of like I mean, you could say the same about LeBron. You could you could sub LeBron for like Shaq, probably if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. No, I Shaq's think, I a think lot of fun cool. to watch. I mean, I you guys think, that, I like, think that I don't know. He's, Shaq I mean, in a fool. If you can, yeah. I mean, if I don't know, sometimes he's like pretty like mellow though. He's better than fucking yeah, up with the boys before school today, watching a little Tom and Jerry. He's better than fucking that shit, you know. No, dude, LeBron is so I never, I never ironically funny. Shit. It would be great. <laughs> he doesn't it's, think it, he's not I've, doing it ironically, though. He's just bad at social media. I don't media. care if he's doing it ironically. It's not, it's not funny to him. He's not trying to be funny, but it's funny to me. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. I don't know who for baseball. Uh, baseball players are Babe away. Ruth. What about? Oh, David Ortiz. He's fucking hilarious. I was gonna say, what about if you um. Did all actors have played the Joker? That'd be good. Well, there's a problem with one of them. Shut up. Look, like I'm we can do. You. We we Rest did George Washington, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. We'll bring back Heath Ledger. Heath Dude, Ledger. That would be kind of okay. cool. But on the other hand, uh, we did just get a sneak peek at a new Joker. I mean, do y'all know? I think it's his name is Barry Key. I I can't pronounce the last name off the top of my head. I can't remember it. We're getting we a new Joker, Joker from the. Yeah, they're bringing in a new Joker, the one for the Batman movies, the one with Robert Pattinson. Oh, oh, it was the guy in, like, the oh. end credit of that? Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. 
Yeah, well, so there's that yeah, new the, Joker, which the only the really only bad Joker would be uh, Jared, Jared Leto, Leto yeah. but like also Jared Leto's like somewhat entertaining to how bad he is. Yeah, you can talk about like his shitty I, music or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, so then you have Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, why can't I think of Luke Skywalker? Oh, Mark. Mark oh, Campbell. Mark. Throw Mark Hamill. That's good. That's good. You also yeah. you also get John DiMaggio. He's really good. Oh yeah, right. Was he Joker? Uh, yeah. what was he in? He was, uh... Oh, God, what was he, he in? He was the... He was, like, an old animated... Yeah. And so, I mean, they could talk about their experiences as Joker, but I think, like, anything they could do is really, you know... It'd be funny if they did, like, a comedy show. Who... Like, they all they all seem like entertaining enough people. Who's in the... Who's yeah. in The Shining? Who... Uh, Jackie or something? Yeah, that's Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson, yeah. Is that what you already said? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, guy. he's the, he's the old... Uh, is it Caesar Romero was the first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that was Adam West. Oh, would we count uh, Cameron Monaghan because he was kind of the Joker in the Gotham show? Wasn't he like officially not the Joker? Or like, okay, no. Well, I guess he played two characters, right? Wasn't that the thing? He played Jerome. Jerome. Like Jerome was. The Jerome wasn't the Joker, looked, and the other was the second the Joker. one. Yeah. yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah. So I mean, we could do that too. Such a and such a be, dumb distinction. Or just what would be What would be funnier? They talk about the differences of their respective roles as the Joker, or do they all write comedy? And then whenever they say something that's relatively funny, they force the others to do like their Joker laughs, so it gets really deranged. No, I think I think what you should have them all do is they all have to do their Joker voice at all times. <laughs> <laughs> that would hurt. Just talk about like so random bad. shit, and they're all doing, but they all have to stay committed. So what do you guys think of the presidential mean. election of twenty twenty four? You wouldn't have to do AI presidents. Election? You know, like all the AI presidents. <gasps> oh Let's get Donald shit! Trump, Joe oh, Biden, so Obama. Smart, like you actually get them in a room. That would oh, actually God, be, that I would enjoy have to tear so list fast food restaurants all the time. Of course you uh, Of course you like No Obama. I'm not gonna put in and out on S tier, okay? <laughs> the fries, they're just not very good, okay? Oh, let I'm it be tired clear. of your bullshit, in and out is Obama. <laughs> I just sat back and you eat the thing over the Obama. <laughs> <laughs> what I I I've never heard of any five guys. Right. Back in my day. Well, your mom's here to five I'm guys, out Joe. to the burger shop. <laughs> got... Joe, your mom is doing five guys as we speak right now. If she's even alive still, Joe. <laughs> all right. So we all got our Seth, that. Seth, who's your president impression? Who's, I, I got, uh, Christ, kind of Obama, I guess, but like. Do Bush. Do, do George Bush. Bush. W. That's, that's, <laughs> that's all I got. W. He always says W. George Bro. W. Bush. We could do I a Bill Clinton. I Ooh, I don't know what he sounds oh. like. Oh wait, uh, John uh, F. Kennedy. I don't know. Aaron. Uh, Aaron. No, you just gotta do a Boston accent. <laughs> ah, Aaron. <laughs> I think we just all thought of uh, high what school. Is it? Was it? What's it called? Clone High. Yeah, Clone High. Yeah, Clone there High. you go. Clone High's a great show. It's a, um, nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. Kennedys. Wow. That would that would be like some good ones. Get like the guys from SNL. Like you get like oh like old Pete SNL engines or legends from like that. Or are you are you, are you, you mean, like specifically two thousands? Bill Hader, like Colin Joss, any just anyone. I just think that I just think the the two thousand. Like I don't know. In my brain. I I've I'm still kind of like in the sense of like what would be a somewhat realistic idea. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel like you're gonna. I've lost all sense of reality with Bill the Murray or you know. Chevy Chase or. Oh, uh, Chevy Dan Chase doesn't need to be on things anymore. Huh? He, he's I think he said plenty. Well, they kind of all have. They're all kind of fucking crazy. Yeah, that's that's kind of my point. Crazy. Just no one. I was crazy once. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know, but the reason like they did Ghostbusters was because Dan Aykroyd wanted it to be like a commentary on real ghosts. Like, no, Bill Murray would be entertaining. What do you mean a commentary on real ghosts? I mean, Dan Aykroyd is fucking insane. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, no, but what, like, what does a commentary on like real ghosts mean? Like, like he, like in his mind, it was more of like. A, like a like a documentary piece on ghosts. This is what ghosts would really be like. Think about that for one minute. <laughs> wow. Like like Dan Aykroyd shows up. Would you let this up. ghost into your home? To you? <laughs> he shows up to the red carpet and everybody's laughing at this movie. And he's like, guys, this is incredibly serious. This is a drama. What do you mean it's a comedy? What the hell? I got all these guys from SNL to make a drama. Of course, we literally. 
have a theme. They have a theme song. What documentary has a theme song? <laughs> that Only good has ones. A, there's the a best lot. Best have a theme song. <laughs> there is a this line is why every documentary sucks, says, Ethan. Planet Earth has documentary music. Says, I think. Bustin makes me feel good. Is that in a documentary? A documentary that has Bustin makes me feel Bustin good. Bustin does, in really? fact, make people feel good. This is it's, it's a it's a try and true thing. Fact. What does Bustin really mean to yeah. you, Ethan? I guess that's what <laughs> that's you have to really think about. That's a new commentary right there. Um. But like, I think I think another good idea would like you, you when you go back to like the president one, like your your George Washington idea. Mm-hmm. I think it'd be funny if you get the four dudes that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are named after, and like put them across from like oh, like the, the TMNT. You, you, but but like you put like the four guys who do the TMNT voices, but you put them in like costumes. So these four really old dudes are just fucking. Sitting across from these four turtles. He's getting a kick out of this. I think it's. I think it'd be hilarious. Did you get this? Did you get this from me playing epic rap battles in the bathroom? Is that is that how you you, you came up with this idea? What? No. I did that the other day to you. <laughs> I played the epic rap battle where it's the same thing. Well, yeah, but how how is that correlated at all? It's correlated. It was like a week ago. If even you didn't teach, you didn't. If you're trying to imply that you taught me that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were named after historical, many figures, don't know. Many you're don't know. Wrong. Well, many are dumb. That's a fun fact. If you didn't know that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were named after famous artists, you're stupid. Whoa. What if we get people that absolutely like fucking hate each other? Like, well, and, isn't that and, our whole thing with the president one? I guess. No, they're like, supposed to be nice in that one. I, I was thinking, like, people have had drama, so, like, Dream and then the voice of Gumball, like, oh, after yeah. your podcast, <laughs> along with, like, two other people that, like, absolutely hate each I'm other. Like, think of, I like, can't... big beefers. I feel like Andrew uh, Tate, like, you can find a lot of people that hate him. Yeah. You get, like, Jake Paul and KSI. No, they love each other. They made a business. No, they don't. No, it's oh, Logan yeah, they Paul did. KSI. Dude, Why is Jake, Jake actually that KSI mad, though? Each other? Yeah, the Jake and, Jake and KSI have beef. Oh. Really? Yeah, they're gonna fight each other. They're gonna box. Oh, they're gonna box about wow. it. Wow! So, I say so I fight they're gonna make millions day. of dollars together because they hate each other, Eddie. And, mm. and they, they really, they really don't do this for any publicity mm. or PR because they I hate each other. I remember when Logan and your entire life is like, like, PR, Harry. Yeah, Harry, life Harry. is a lie. Harry, I hate you. Do you want to fight me? Um. Oh. That's beautiful. What's but Ka- like Kanye and Drake, Kanye and Pete Davidson. Oh yeah, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be oh, good. That'd be there good. you go. And, like, so it's, like, all these two people that, like, hate each other, and they're, like, all in a podcast and, like, have to, like, you know, I just imagine, like, if they're, like, all in the same room, they're, like, staring, like, just staring at the person they hate. And, like, the like, tension is just so high. So when you originally pitched Mr. Beast, I thought this would be a good idea. Like, he's immediate in a debate. I think that would be a good way. For, what the fuck are you doing with your mouth? What Who? the hell? You. Eat my hot dog. Not you. Oh, my God. Okay, whatever. There but like go. no, this is like yeah. like I feel like that'd be funny. Like you get like a big personality. You like you get Mr. Beast, and he's like mediating between these two people who hate each other. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be, I think I think that's a good idea. And like I think, think it'd be also equally as funny to like have them absolutely dance around any of the actual beef and try to have just what? like regular yeah. like oh. podcast conversation. Oh, like yeah. try to ignore the beef that they have. Yeah, that's fair. What if you like, like put like a lot of like good celebrities that i like like uh like aaron Rodgers and michael Sarah mm. and like rivers cuomo and like just get a harry's favorite they're, podcast and they're like the a harry's podcast with, podcast. like i was in it too like i got to be in the room too and like podcast so this is just them. a bunch of awkward white dudes but my riz podcast failed guys that idea is not and, good well like, yeah because it's just you no yeah I, and I I'd was just guessed. like in this room that have people that I really like. It would be really cool. And you get paid to be there. And maybe you could be on like a beach or something like that, huh? I'd even like Aaron Rodgers that much. I think. He's I was gonna say he left us. What about something. Jordan Love? Huh? <laughs> Throw Jordan Love in there. He's not personal at all. I'm sure. Yeah, but uh, Aaron if he Rodgers wins a Super is better. Bowl. Aaron Rodgers is better for content. Haven't you seen him on the Pat McAfee show accusing Jimmy Kimmel? Jimmy Kimmel being, being on the Epstein list. Let's get everyone on the Epstein list oh, in a podcast. Fuck. No. There's too God. many. Get in here, That's Stephen Hawking. So many. Stephen Hawking. That <laughs> is horrible. That's actually horrible. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I brought this up. Like, but you guys know that Jimmy Kimmel went to ASU? That's cool. Did he? Yeah. 
Rose Aaron Rodgers actually, actually roasted him for going to ASU, even though oh, he even though it's cool went to, to Cal it's for... It's cool to go to ASU, guys. We swear. It's cool, Aaron Rodgers. Come on, Aaron. No, no. It's, just, it's a dumb joke. No. <laughs> what? Huh? Sorry. Is, is, is fucking... Bum down south talking. You know, is, is you know what? No one even makes right fun of. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is burning dress. No one even makes fun of people. Chris Hansen is also part of the whole podcast where it's everyone that went to Epstein's Island. <laughs> he's the, he's the host. Why don't you take? It always starts where he's like, "Why don't you take a seat? Why don't you take a seat?" <laughs> Chris Hansen will make bank that day. Oh my the god! Episode one, he made a meal, like <laughs> so much money. And he, he has like a mute button where he can mute anyone to stop at any time. <laughs> 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 and like combining that idea with the idea that Seth had earlier, like it'd be a good idea, like like, and kind of like combining like, like our last idea of like two people that hate each other. Like you get a cop, and the guy he arrested, <laughs> and you put him on a podcast just, together. Just random crimes. Yeah, just that'd like good. that'd be kind of good. Like anywhere scaling from tax evasion to like. Hold on, I hear like a noise litter. Hold on, I'll be back. Serious homicide. Oh, Seth's gonna die. Um. He's about to go visit Harry. Here we Giant go. Bag of popcorn. Five, I'm confused. Four, three, two, one. Uh, Keep going, Eddie. I wonder if it's okay. the noise of you eating the popcorn that just got Seth's attention. Yeah, I don't know. But that, like, know that like, kind of going back to my other idea. Another, like, another funny thing would be like maybe, like, you get the. Oh, he's also getting his popcorn. Okay, they're just what? doing a bit. What? Um, what? We gotta stop these food bits. Uh. You get like the cast of, you get like the people who voiced the uh, like the um, Scooby Doo people, and you Scooby make them Doo. solve a crime. Like, but they, you know, like they're acting it out like they're Scooby Doo characters, but Matthew they have to, like, solve, like a real care. crime. Yeah, Matthew Lillard would be fucking hilarious. You only like Matthew Lillard because of Fat FNAF. Admit it. I don't want to, dude. Imagine though, the the cast no. of the FNAF movie goes to a Chuck and Cheese. Every time they have Chuck and cheese. cheese. What, would, what, would okay, Josh, what would Josh Hutchinson say? Ethan, what would Josh Hutchinson say? I guess you can hear it. I just whistled the whistle name. But, um... <laughs> Seth, do you know what I was poking at? I actually I know. I was poking. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. That's funny. That's funny one. Uh-huh. Greetings, everyone. I love FNAF. No. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but, um... That would be kind of a fun podcast. Get the entire cast of the FNAF movie. Make them go to a Chuck E. Cheese. And every you, time they have to record an episode, they'd have to do it all night. So you say the entire cast, but really all you'd really want to see is like Matthew Lillard, Josh, and Matt Pat. Do you really want the Vanessa girl there? Do you really yes. want... Yes. That would be kind of Everyone. boring. She was cute. But they're in like a Chuck E. Cheese and whatever. Now they get like, oh, did I hear noise? You're or something? <laughs> and they're like, like oh, no. even talk about? Like... I guarantee you, Matt Pat's the only one in that whole cast that knows a shit about FNAF lore. <laughs> like, it knows a rat's ass. Like, it what knows, about, like, what even about a Corey? Snitch. I guess Ooh. you can put Corey in there. Corey. You can put Corey. True. True. And they, they just talk the whole time, and there's, there's all these, like, I, actual actors just kind of, like, then, watching them talk about these FNAF. These actors that, like, give no shit about FNAF. It'd like, be then, even and funnier. And Matt Pat's like, guys, it'd be really entertaining when you hear about William Afton and... Like, and they're like, I don't That'd be funny if it's all of them trying to solve the lore. <laughs> <laughs> game by game. That'd be very entertaining. That'd I be funny. You get Matt Pat for a podcast yeah, in a room of, with a bunch of like six to nine year olds, and they all ask him why he's retired and really guilt trip, and they're, and they're asking him, What? That, no, that, don't, don't leave! Matt don't leave! They all like and say, you know, and really, and he, like, he makes them like cry, like, you know, so like guilt trip. <laughs> This Go entire back. podcast this isn't just one episode. Like they do this every week. <laughs> he just goes from school to school and he just just crushes the dreams of these. I'm children. leaving, and I'd be a part. And of I don't that care. Too. I'd be in the room. <laughs> He's instructed to. Tell Why would you be in the room with the nine year old Ethan? No, I'd be with Matt Pat. I would be there with Matt Pat. I'd be giving Matt Pat. Do, do six to nine year olds watch a lot of Matt Pat? I don't know. Is I just like, a I just, like guessed a demographic. I feel like I feel like Matt Pat is too highbrow for for that. Yeah. Highbrow. His thing is like theories about shit. I don't. He think, just, like, he, seven this, year this guy just Rick and Morty. Like, is this was the theory I had too. Like, do, do your best buddy. Matt Pratt picture impression. You know he that released, one. He released. He released a film you know theory on Bluey like last week. Did he? Really? Oh my gosh. 
Don't care. I didn't watch okay. it. I was like, this is nonsense. I really hope that he releases one more FNAF theory before he goes. Of course I'm sure he is. Well, he's doing a Delta Room, he's doing a Delta Room Chapter 2 theory, which Dude, I'm this excited is about. So funny. But I he's never kind of been on the market for Undertale Toby Fox will. theories. There's something on my we'll be of. page, and it's and it's Matt Pat my way. <laughs> oh yeah. The second you open oh, YouTube. Oh man. Yeah, literally on my homepage. I mean, they've, they've been doing that for like all all like YouTubers and stuff my way. Film mm -hmm. theory: Bluey is a witch. Oh my you God, see the one that Jay Schlatt did, where he did where he sung it himself to oh, show that three. AI wasn't necessary. Mm -hmm. Which yeah, yeah, yeah we've always seen the Jay Schlatt porn video. Ethan, come on. That's not what I was talking about. What are you watching? <laughs> no, that's the deep pick, not the AI cover, Harry. Oh, yeah, confused. Wow. Mm -hmm. What is this clickbait? Holy shit, Matt Pat, this what? is shameful. What? Oh, he's been click, he's been clickbaiting for a while. He's he, he doesn't make clicks. How do you get clicks? Ooh, I just thought of a good one. I think like... a good podcast would be me just watching Bluey. Yeah. Great. And you sit there I and you, like, it... you clap, around, clap along with it too. You're like, yay! He's, he's cited no, 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 it word no, no. for word. Like the only, the only word you hear me yeah. from the entire time is when the theme song comes. And then the rest of it, you're watching mouth wide open. <laughs> well, they don't see that. It's a podcast. I thought, um, I thought a good podcast would be like, imagine, you remember, was it Beijing Canadian, uh, Jerome ASF, Sunday and just old Minecraft tubers, tubers like that all meet up just mm -hmm. to like get in the car. I don't want Sunday though. Sunday's a fucking trash among us YouTuber now. I don't want that. Okay, but, but I don't, in I don't want that. I don't... Prime, in Sunday's Prime. His voice is annoying. Don't forget. His voice is annoying. Because I think it'd be great I, if, I, the I had a podcast. Huh? if the Sidemen had a podcast. Huh? If the Sidemen had a podcast, I'd watch If that. only the Sidemen had a podcast. Yeah. Uh, someday. I wish we had a podcast, to be honest, though. Wait a yeah, minute. The fuck? Why don't we we're like podcast? the American Sidemen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. Are we going to do that thing where we all try to set people up <clears throat> for, like, dates? Please. <clears throat> right, where, where, where we would, set up. Who would be the KSI of the group? That's the only Sidemen I can name. I, I guess, guess you. Harry, right? I was going to say, I guess you. No. No. Oh. no. Yeah, you're the KSI because you're a cash guy. I'd say Harry's Eddie? No. No. What? That's like the only two I know. I can't even remember you. No, no I'd I don't probably, watch the Simon, so. I'd probably be Simon. Simon's so boring. Simon. You always say you like Simon. He's so fucking. Oh, and no. I'm thinking of Toby. Simon. Never mind. Simon. I love Simon. Oh, Toby's so cool. Fuck Toby's you. boring, bro. Ooh. How dare you? Dude, they're all boring, to be honest. Like, they're like dude perfect. Like, it's just a bunch of, like, random oh. guys that, like, just, like. I mean, their content's, like, good, but it's just, like, a bunch of boring guys that just happen to, like... I'll talk to you each know, other. find a good niche. I mean, I don't know, that together they can make good content. Mm. It's like they're us. boring, but they make... But they're boring, but their content's actually really good, and I really enjoy it. They're actually really funny. So, they're boring, but they're actually really good at what they do. That's what you just said. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we've had discussions today... I was gonna say, we, we just talked about the that, Mr. Beast with that, to be honest. About Mr. Beast and stuff like that. Yeah, but, like, the Sidemen are actually, like, funny. Yeah, they are, buddy. I mean, they are. You know what I would want for a podcast? The British British people, people, the British British people, people watch the Sidemen yeah. here. You're just jealous because they're more popular. Than British people are. can't be funny, dude. That is yeah, true. They do it. They do it. They do it. They do it. going against them, yeah. That is has got to be there. I was gonna say a fun podcast would be like Unis Honest Two, where they do another podcast for a year and then just delete it again. That'd be kind of funny. A podcast though wouldn't. I don't know. Unis Podcast. No, that would, that, would, that would be heartbreaking, everyone. We're coming back as a weekly podcast. Yep. Oh, that would be such a hit. <laughs> no, nuts. everybody would love, Everybody would be more than fine. I remember when I was there the day that they deleted it, and I just remember after they deleted it, I was like, wow. That's it. I did not. <laughs> I just like, I like sat on my monitor for a minute. I was like, wow. I think yeah, it, I was, that, that's crazy. it was either Eddie or you that I talked about it with that I was just like, I, I never even knew about them until the countdown. Yeah, like it was me. really? Yeah, it was you. I yeah, I little I, no, I didn't know about the it. The whole year was a countdown, so no. I, I mean, I guess until they started <laughs> yeah, watching true. the countdown. I guess I mean. Oh wow! Boop. Yeah, like, <laughs> Corrected. Wasn't that like? Boop, man. Didn't they say that. like? Yeah. Yeah, I hate that. What the fuck was that? Were you able to watch any videos before they like took mm -hmm. it down, or was it just mm -hmm. like oh? I was like, like oh wow, fast. Markiplier and this other you guy can... have a channel. Okay. 
You can this theoretically it. still watch them if you want to, but you shouldn't because it defeats the, the purpose. purpose. Yeah, I it know. defeats that that work of art. Whatever, dude. Reupload. 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 I, I have a reupload. Re-upload. I have a Unis Honest reupload channel where I make bank offers. So. You bit it. Bro's gonna get it. <laughs> you get him. Our podcast smiting, smited down by fucking Markiplier. Just... Is it smit? Wait, wait, what is you the, would like, you would like, shake you my hand smite, for a million years if I got head? you a little attention from Markiplier. No, smite, is it smote? Because yeah, I know smitten. Is not smitten. that attention. I thought it was smitten. I, no, smit, would... smitten's like when you're in love. I thought like I'm yeah. smitten. Ooh. I think it would actually be smoted. Smoted. That is stupid. I like that. Smote. I smote it in Fortnite smut? when I got a kill. I was like, guys, I think it's smut. <laughs> that was stupid, uh, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, was, that was that the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Oh, you oh, he smote it. Oh, I got you now. I smote it. Okay, I got you. I guess it. Oh, uh, there you go. Uh, it says the verb smite has two past tense forms: smote and smitten. Really? Because smitten's love. Smote. Smote just doesn't sound right. Mm. Smoke. I guess uh, I'm, I'm gonna ring this back I, in here to the to the podcast sphere. I, with our with our with our little time left, why do we think that the Glassickers is the perfect podcast? Maybe, as some would say, it's not. some say, you know, some say that we're the perfect yeah. podcast. Who? Who? You know, I, I've heard it around. We suck at podcasts. No, we're good. No, well, we're doing good. Half of us. Well, so, well, I, well, I literally have been such a terrible for like three weeks. Three weeks. Three this weeks have been gone. It's such a bad... Longer no, than it. Everyone's poisoned in the water. Everyone's poisoned in the water hole. And no, no, one, no one can give me an actual answer? Like, you, I know think why, be... you know why we're a good podcast? We're... Why? why? Because we're four white guys from Arizona. That's what people need to hear from. It's from four. Arizona? Don't Colorado fucking States say... White dudes you, are, you will never be in Arizona. You will never be from Arizona. Thank God. And thank God for that. Because you know what? I fucking walk off the fucking bridge if I was from Arizona. Get a load of this <laughs> guy, fuck? dude. What's he talking about? God, bro, bro, I think we have like no ground to be a podcast whatsoever. We have no, we're like young guys. We have no experiences to relate to. We have <laughs> no, no, no stories opinions. to tell. We have no meaningful opinions because we, none of us have done anything with our lives. So you should come watch us. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, this is the last time. Yeah. that was the hardest sell of my life, and I didn't. But even we say are to you guys funny together. sometimes. Yeah, we make jokes mm-hmm. every now and then. Probably every ten minutes, yeah. we we time it out. Well, we well we make jokes a lot, but whether or not they're funny, no, 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 that, 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 is, that is yeah, that is. Uh, hey, smoted, smoted, smitten. Some of us are like are in a video game sometimes. Also, that's like yeah, this talent. podcast is so bored. I played a video game. <laughs> <laughs> he got bored of his own fucking podcast. <laughs> and he's trying. He's 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 had like. Three different things to eat on this podcast. He's just hungry, what? bro. What can I say? He's in the kitchen. That's I got. He, he, I literally is. had to stop at Taco Bell for this man. I drove him to fucking so, the, so, I, get, so I could eat food for my class. And <laughs> then he made me drive on the worst street in the whole fucking city. Which one? Oh, I'm never driving there on that street again. <laughs> that is get, the worst I, street during the I got worst out, time. I got out of my car because like he got my Taco Bell and I got. He was going to drop me off right outside my class because it's right on this road. But the cars were going so fast that, like, I got out and I walked faster than his car. Like, I beat I beat his car to my class by, like, minutes. <laughs> it was so funny. It was pretty good. Barely made it home in time. And I got to eat Taco Bell senators. during my, my sex and violence class where we just watched Did you feel like one of those kids about- back in, like junior high who would get like mcdonald's and show up with that every day yeah because like i brought i brought my junior taco high, bell in and i was school? just sitting there watching everyone like, was like can i can, can, I, have, can I have a piece, piece? And I, was just, uh, I was literally talking to seth about this last night i had a buddy in one of my classes who would always be late to class so i'd always text him I'd be like dude i'm kind of craving an egg mcmuffin and every week i just got an egg mcmuffin during class okay but I, mcriddles are better mcriddles are better and yeah. I, I was gonna make that McRiddles distinction are there. officially better is that's three to one sorry you just got you got yeah, just you got like right she's better than you have a Woo! We're full three to one baby three to one just three, like the senators just like the senators um oh. go mitch we're what? rooting for you guy oh god mm-hmm. oh AOC. god Thanks right, for well, watching. Both, this fucking we're both sides. We, of the we're table we're here. devolving here. Uh, yeah, we should have a we should have a January upload coming out. We're we're following the the New Year resolution kind of. No, we aren't. 
we're we're following it with the January upload, so that'll be co come out at some point. So watch for that. Yeah. But thank you for watching. Maybe Ethan will be back again. Yeah, we hope. We hope. I don't know. I kind of got really comfortable as that pink elephant. I couldn't tell you. No, 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 no. Don't get too comfortable now. That was the only time Harry hugged me. All right. Listen. <laughs> I don't remember him hugging you in that. He did, he did oh, he did. I did a lot of things. Didn't you, like, stroke him during the Christmas one or something like that? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that was when Harry was the most intimate with me was when I was a pink elephant. I'm just so glad that that witch's curse wore off. I my sex and violence. <laughs> <laughs> no, God. We're done. The podcast is over. Bye! Please. Bye!